Linda Peterson has been a designer in the industry for the past 18 years and is the author of over 10 craft how-to books, ranging from polymer clay to jewelry making. She has appeared on many crafting shows on TV and on the web. She is currently the host of Friendly Plastic TV and is the product spokesperson. I'm delighted to welcome Linda Peterson. Hi everybody, I'm so thrilled to be part of kicking off National Craft Month and thanks for joining me. Um, Tiffany, if you would like, would you please put up one of those slides of the Friendly Plastic Pendant that we're going to be doing today? I'm going to set my camera down so you can see what I'm working with. What you're going to be using is a strip of Friendly Plastic. I'm using gold. Um, I'm using the matte color, which is the color that I have up front here. And you're going to just simply cut off a piece with a pair of scissors. It doesn't matter the size uh, too much, but we're going to alter the front color of this by using some Lumiere paint. And you're simply just going to daub some paint onto the front. One thing that's nice about the Friendly Plastic Sticks is that you can change the color. You can add acrylic paint. You can add alcohol inks. Um, I have a piece already done here. Let's see, where's that? No, actually I don't. I thought I did. Put a little purple on here. You can cover as much or as little as you want. You want to leave some of the natural plastic showing through. And then if you look over here, let me turn my camera over here, you can see that I have um, a griddle going. It's just a little pancake griddle. I'm going to put this onto the griddle. I have it set at about 200 degrees. The friendly plastic does get soft with heat. You can use the griddle. You can use a heat gun. You can use the water method for this. They all work really well. And one thing you'll know is that when your friendly plastic is too hot, it will bubble. So if it bubbles, then you need to turn your um, heat down. So all these kind of vary. Each, each griddle has a, kind of a, a little temperature difference. But you can see that it's starting to set down. And here, these I've had um, just kind of holding on the griddle for quite a while. Let me take this off. I'm also using a nonstick um, cookie sheet that you get at Bed Bath & Beyond. These work really, really well. Let me put this up here. Let me take this off. Now I'm going to put this back to my workstation. And you'll need some kind of an acrylic, um, clear acrylic stamp. That, those work the best. And I'm going to coat this with a little bit of petroleum jelly. This helps it not stick. If your um, stamp sticks, that's okay because it will release as soon as you put it in cold water. So you're just going to press these down. And you notice that I'm not really using um, an acrylic backing. That's because I want to make sure that I get a nice deep impression. And because I've used the petroleum jelly, you can kind of see that I've made an impression there. Let's do that again. And you can go over and over. We're not really interested in necessarily the pattern of the stamp. We're just interested in getting some texture in there. Okay, after this process is, um, after you get, get it all stamped, then you'll want to put this in cold water. And I have a pan of cold water over here. That'll set that instantly. And I have some pieces here that are already done. These have already been stamped. And what I like to do is I like to just kind of highlight the raised areas. So I'm going to use some Rub and Buff. And a little bit of this goes a long way. Just on a little makeup sponge. I'm just going to dab over, and just it, what it does is it kind of brings some of that gold back through. It just highlights it a little bit. Okay. Now, you can choose what area of the stamp that you like. So, um, and it cuts really well with scissors. So just choose an area that you like. This is going to become the main focal piece of your pendant, similar to the one that I have here. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this aside for right now, and we're going to work with our copper backing. Now, this comes, uh, this is called Art Emboss, and you can see that I've used this sheet quite a bit. It comes in a 9 by 12 uh, roll, and this is the copper medium. It comes in two different weights, copper medium, copper light. The medium is a little heavier, and it works better for the backing of a pendant, but you can also see that it cuts really easily with scissors. So you will use your piece 
that you are going to use as your focal piece and you'll cut out a piece of the copper that's just a little bit larger than your focal piece like I have here. And so I've already cut a little piece here. This one's pretty large, so let's, uh, let's trim that up a little bit. And um, you can also put these through a corner rounder if you have a little quarter rounder, or you can just kind of nip off the edges. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my anvil. Now, I'm not going to hammer because I think it would hurt everybody's ears, but I want to show you that I'm, let's see, here's my, use the back of a ball pin hammer and just texture, hammer this out and texturize it like I have here. Can everyone see that one? See all the little impressions there? And then if you have any sharp corners, you can take a metal file and you can file those corners down so that they're nice and smooth. Now, one thing about using this copper, it's not such a heavy copper that you can't use a hole punch. So what you'll do is you'll take a hole punch and you'll punch a couple of holes in the top. This is how we're going to attach. Um, you can attach with jump rings or you can add a decorative element like I'm going to. Let's see. I have some brass rods. These come in a set of six. And I, but what I've done is I've just snipped this off with some wire cutters. I've hammered it against my anvil, and you can see that I've just wire wrapped this onto a piece, wire wrapped it through the hole. A couple of times around the pendant, I'll wrap it around so that it's a finished piece like this. Then you will take your piece of friendly plastic, if I can get it up here. Put a piece of double stick tape. I use double stick tape for everything. And then stick it down to the top. And Tiffany, if you can show us the um, finished pendant slide that you have. There you go. Okay, all that was done with um, a double stick tape and it will adhere. And also, you can see that I have other little embellishments on there. I've got some little tiny washers and um, hammered metal parts. I use E6000 glue to attach those. And that's exactly how you do the friendly plastic pendants.